The difference between ADD and ADHD is that ADD gets scrambled signals from the inner ear and the cerebellum just to the concentration centers of the brain. So you have difficulty with concentration, sustaining it, and whatnot. And you get scrambled signals going to the motor center of the, or the activity center of the brain so that you get overactivity, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. So ADHD is just the same disorder, more symptoms than ADD, that's all. And because of the hyperactivity in the behavior difficulties in impulse disorder, it makes the overall disorder more severe, more difficult. And sometimes you need to combine treatments to uh, handle it better. I almost said cure but you can cure the symptoms without curing the disorder. And one other thing I'd like to mention, in my experience with treating patients with dyslexia and, and ADHD and phobias with inner ear improving medications, the longer they're on the medication, the less they need it. Many people are always worried that you have to keep increasing the dose and eventually you're gonna get dependent or addicted to it. My rebut is you never keep increasing the dose. That's a side effect. That's a danger. If you have to keep increasing the dose, you change the, the medication or you change the treatment modality. So that never happens. If you do what I say and you treat people, what happens is as they're on the medication longer and longer, the medication actually teaches the brain how to function as if they were on a medication over a period of time. So that 80% of my patients that I treat no longer need as much medication or no longer need medication after two to four years of treatment. The longer they're on treatment, the less they need it. The complete opposite of what many people are worried about now.